thickness of the, the test we are performing here today is uh, the interaction of more than two wings. Currently we have three in the wind tunnel. This will be very important for the Ocean Bird as a project because uh, having three, four, five interacting wings will change drastically the way ships are sailed. Three, two, one, go. So we're in the RJ Mitchell Wind Tunnel at the University of Southampton. This tunnel's been here since the mid-1980s. Um, it was brought here so we could do automobile testing, particularly Formula One and Indy 500 cars. Primarily it's a research facility um, and also used with teaching of our aerospace, aerospace and maritime engineering programs at Southampton. Wind tunnel provides you with a very precise knowledge of what the wind speed actually is. Um, and by holding a model still, you can measure the forces as the wind blows past. What we've done for this particular experiment is to try and maximize the dimension of the wing so that we could capture the flow uh, features as closely as possible to what they will be in reality. So we have a laser installed in the viewing room, uh, which is firing uh, kind of between the middle and the downstream wind. And therefore we can capture the tip vortex between the two. Wind assist in, in shipping is, is an obvious uh, response to um, climate change. We, we can get 10, 15, maybe 20% saving of energy if we design the right kind of wind assist system on an individual ship. Coming up with clever systems, a bit like the one being tested here, is going to be an important part of that development process. The results so far look very promising. So hopefully with this wind tunnel test and the Ocean Bird project in general, we can inspire more people to go shipping with the wind power vessels.